about uh, the upcoming episodes. Um, let's see. Uh, episode seven is, is we just locked it, and it's phenomenal. I think. Um, I hope. Re I really hope people like it. It's uh, one of our bottle episodes. It's a uh, quarantine. The CDC gets called in. So we were like, what can we do in the high school this season? And I said, quarantine. <laughs> Uh, we got to use the sets we have, um, but uh, and that's one of the ways we, we try to make a show like this look big on a small budget. So bottle episodes are very helpful. Well, that would be a spoiler. <laughs> kind of looked like that in the trailer, didn't it? But can you talk about any of like the main people and like your I can say that the assassins. Uh, uh, their successes, their success rate gets higher and higher. So things get uh, things get pretty bad, pretty bleak. But um, the one thing I, I said at the panel was uh, that a lot of uh, long plans come to fruition, uh, and you learn a little bit of uh, of history too, uh, like Lydia Martin's history, um, or the history of her family. Which uh, we're gonna now now that we've uh, got a fifth season, we're gonna start hearing more about that in. in uh, in the next season as well. Uh, one of my favorite things you said at the panel was that Scott and Styles was the French of you wish you had in school. It is, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So as this rest of the season keeps getting crazier and crazier with the benefactor and all those things, yeah. how is that going to kind of be the center point? It has been sort of the whole show, so how are we going to see their kind of yeah. relationship keep it up? Well, one of the problems that's going to occur is, um, is the pressure of temptation and the money uh, of uh, uh, the money, all the money split around that's being found, actually. So their relationship is going to be tested a little. They're going to grow, um, and it's uh, it's a point where I don't want to I don't give away too much, but um, but people have to risk their lives for each other. So um, we will wanted to with this season is get back into a sense of. Uh, the ensemble cast. Uh, it's fun to focus on on one character and to give a, give someone like Dylan O'Brien a big showy role for 3B. Um, but it was important to us to really explore um, uh, all of the main characters this season. Um, so in the writers' room, um, we, we challenged ourselves to come up with a great Lydia story, a great Derek story, and a new uh, Scott story. And one of the first things I said uh, in the writers' room is, I want to give Scott and Styles a little brother this season, and that's and that's still in Sprayberry Liam. And we really we're really happy with how it's turning out. They, they're so good together on set, and uh, they love each other, which is awesome. Are we going to get sort of a father-daughter reunion at any point between Peter and Malia? Yes. Yeah. You can expect that to happen. So that secret's going to come out, and how it comes out is not good for anyone, especially Styles. Parrish <laughs> uh -oh. is uh, well. It was hinted about in 3B um, when he said he just felt drawn to uh, Beacon Hills. So you're going to learn more about it, uh, especially in an upcoming episode. Uh, it's 409, uh, called Perishable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny has been such a great side character mm -hmm. all along in the seasons. Are, you said that we're on the panel that we're going to see some more of him. Um, yeah, I was actually hanging out with like. Kiyahu. I was actually hanging out with Kiyahu last night. <laughs> <laughs> talking a little bit about it. Um, but uh, you'll have you'll have to wait and see. Um, uh, last season was. Uh, felt like a finish for a lot of different stories to us, and we needed to. We felt like we needed to kind of reboot the, the series a bit. Um, it's hard to lose a main character like Allison, or like Crystal, and we felt we really felt that loss in the first few weeks of being on set. So it was a weird thing, uh, especially when we started shooting a scene. We shot. We started shooting a scene with uh, Malia and Kira, and we realized we're, we're shooting a scene with two. Uh, series regulars, two main characters who weren't on the first season of the show or the second season. So it was an interesting experience. Um, in certain ways it feels like a new show, but it's still Scott, Styles, Lydia, Derek, Stalinsky, Melissa McCall. It's still the same team. Um, so this season we've seen a lot of the hunters working with the hunters. Yeah. Are we going to talk about it? I thought that was really Yes, uh, we really like the Calaveras. Uh, they're really fun. Uh, and Calavera, uh, 
you might not know is the, uh, the Sugar Skull, the Day of the Dead. Uh, and that's why we named them that. But uh, they're, they're great people, too. Um, uh, the actors, uh, Ivo and Yvonne. Uh, uh, um, and uh, that last scene with JR, I love that last look up, that last line. So we're, we're testing JR's character, testing Arjun a bit. So yeah. you'll, you'll see more of that. Speaking of Arjun, how is his return going to affect the rest of the season? Uh, in a big way. He starts, you'll see him uh, with Scott, you'll see him with uh, uh, Derek. He, and we're not going to be quite sure about his, where his allegiance is lying. That's all I'll say about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, his motivations are, they're very much about power, but uh, I can say he's still loyal to his family, too. So, uh, Peter has a belief that he is, he's kind of like, uh, the, the prince who believes that the crown belongs to him, and that that crown is uh, his alpha status. So that's why he said in 3A, I am the alpha, I've always been the alpha. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he doesn't have the red eyes to prove it. But he may again 